Hello, YouTubers out there. Welcome to another edition of Broadcast Rock, where on this episode, I'm finally getting to talk about one of my favorite band's new albums, Avenged Sevenfold, Life is But a Dream. Is it any good, or just how good is it? We're about to find out. This is finally here upon us, Avenged Sevenfold's new album, the first since 2016's The Stage. Um, and man, this is definitely going to be the most diverse album I maybe ever will review on this channel. It is going to diverse people, diverse people. Divide people. That makes more sense. Diverse people makes no sense. <laughs> um, it's going to divide people smack dab the metal. It's going to part the seas, if you will. One side to the left to the right. I don't know how diverse this album is. I mean, this is, this is crazy. This is just bonkers how it's going to divide the fans. Um, you're either going to love this or hate this album. There's going to be no in-between. Uh... I've read it's inspired by philosopher, philosophy and writings of French author and Nobel Prize winner Albert, Albert Camus. Um, and so that's weird to begin with, I think. Um, you know, uh, maybe not too weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling now. Um because I really don't know how to review this album, honestly. Um, it, it starts off with the system of a down, avenged sevenfold sounding song, Game Over. And then it transfers into Mattel, which, yes, they're, it's based off of the Barbie brand, Mattel. Uh, and those are the first two songs, and they kind of set a normal, normal? tone for the Avenged Sevenfold fans about as normal as this album is going to get um it's definitely got the metal vibe you're wanting from Avenged and like I said it's it's kind of normal then comes the first diverse song of the album Nobody which everyone knows and at first nobody liked it I think <laughs> um but then people grew on it and I think it kind of, more and more people accepted that. And that was the first diverse song. Definitely diverse, diverse song. Um, and then We Love You is even more diverse. Um, and my favorite off the album, and it's actually my top 10 favorite Avenged Sevenfold songs, is a Pink, Pink Floyd-esque song, Cosmic. This song is phenomenal. I love this song to death. Um, it's so good. Uh, I I hope people give it the chance it deserves. And then uh, the song Easier has a, um, a weird sounding autotone auto -tone to it. It's just so weird. I can't even explain it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so... This whole thing is just weird. It's weird. That's all I can explain to you guys. How weird it is. And then they even have a song like Daft Punk's Get Lucky in Ordinary. Then they leave on a Frank Sinatra so sounding song in Death. So you go from Daft Punk... To Frank Sinatra sounding songs. And you get how crazy this album is. Um, this album goes everywhere and anywhere. It's not afraid to do anything. Um, they take things by the balls and grab it. And they run with it. Um, there's just... It's insane. Uh, 
they are going to leave a lot of fans angry. And I think that they knew that they're going to leave a lot of fans angry. Um, but then I think that if you listen to this with an open mind, um, you're going to find it's really something special. Because that's how I took it in. I took it in with an open mind. And I'm actually happy I'm on the side that loves this album. Because I mean I love it. It is so good. They pull no punches on the level of weirdness in this album. Um, now, they do all keep it in the realm of rock and metal of some sort, normally through every song. Um, but they are, they just, like I said, they pull no punches on how weird this level of, how weird this album can get. Um, it's such a solid album, though, in my opinion. I think. I think a lot of people are going to like it. And I know a lot of people are going to hate it. Um, I'm definitely in the camp of loving this album. Um, it's not a singles album. They're not going to hey, say, hey, let's play this song on the radio or this song on the radio. It's just not that type of album. It's a it's an album album where you have to listen to track one through track 12 or 11, whatever there is. Um it's a it's an experience album it's kind of like how i say sleep tokens was a piece of art to me this is another album that's a piece of art um this and sleep token are definitely hands down my favorite two albums of the year i can't decide which one is better i like them both about the same so far um it's gonna come down to the wire i think between albums of the year for me i'm gonna give this a strong strong 10 out of 10 um, yeah, until next time, hit the like and subscribe button and rock on.